Welcome to the Happiness Matters podcast, where we'll explore happiness at work and show you how to coach yourself to be happier there and more successful too, no matter what. Welcome everyone to Fun at Work Day today. I'm Julia Seal, your host at Happy and Successful at Work, no matter what. Now this week, we're stepping out of our mini-series Coaching Your Negative Emotions, Your Unhappiness, to celebrate Fun at Work Day. We'll look at what it's about, of course, and then examine your thoughts and feelings about it. Good, bad, waste of time, essential. And we'll use this, your thoughts and feelings, to practice our self-coaching, especially your negative emotions, your unhappiness at work, since that's what we've been focusing on these last few weeks. First up, before we get started, since we're talking fun at work with your boss, your team and your colleagues, I want to let you know that my eight-week one-on-one coaching program for difficult relationships is now available for booking. So do you have a difficult boss, negative co-worker or critical leadership team? How about at home? Does your difficult relationship with your mother-in-law or your sister spill over into your working day? And do these relationships bother you? Do they get in the way of your everyday happiness and success? I can help you to transform these troublesome relationships forever. You won't lose any more sleep playing your last interaction over and over and over in your mind. You won't need a glass of wine after another tense day. And nor will you bore your friends and family with the next installment of just how awful this person is. It's time to do something about it now so that you can start exploring what fun at work really means for you. What happiness and success no matter what mean for you. In just eight weeks of individual coaching with me, we can end your worry, anxiety, anger, frustration, or even shame that you might be feeling about that difficult person you have in your life. We coach one relationship and you'll master 10 skills that you'll be able to apply to and transform any other relationship in your life for the rest of your life. Sounds good, doesn't it? So if you're interested, book a 20 minutes consult session with me to see how I can help you. Visit our website, happiness-matters.coach and click on the big yellow button called Coach with Julia. I look forward to coaching with you to transform your most difficult relationships on your journey towards happy and successful. So about fun at work day. There are actually two Fun at Work Days celebrated worldwide. There's today, the 28th of January, sometimes pushed to the fourth Friday in January, and another one celebrated on the 1st of April, I guess to coincide with April Fool's Day. There doesn't seem to be much of a historic record of why and when these days were formalized, but the concept of a day of fun started with those annual fun days organized for factory workers and their families during the early Industrial Revolution in Britain. Now, rather than heading down one of Alice in Wonderland's rabbit holes following interesting facts, I just want to remind you of Robert Owen's 1817 slogan. Eight hours labor, eight hours recreation, eight hours rest. Owen was a Welsh textile manufacturer, respected for his efforts to improve factory working conditions. He was a fascinating man of his times, championing the working class, leading the development of the early trade union movement, and supporting the first child labor laws and free schooling. 
It is sobering to note that while Owen was instituting 888 in his factory back in 1817, today, of the world's 195 countries, only 52 of them have agreed to the Hours of Work Convention by the International Labour Organization. Really something to think about on today, Fun at Work Day. We have created our world the way we think about work and leisure and our concept of work-life balance around this eight hours. Eight hours, eight hours, eight, eight, eight. If you've listened to my episode 126, Eight Steps to Processing Your Negative Emotions, you'll see I am a bit hung up on all things eight. (laughs) This is part of the reason. While considering how much our deepest beliefs about time and our life structure has been influenced by Owen's slogan, I noticed just how much noise there is, how much discussion and activity around the world there is about what work is and isn't, what it should be or what it could be, and even myself. I've been involved in employee engagement for more than 15 years now, looking at human motivation and happiness. There's plenty of noise in my own head on this topic. So while today is a good day to look at what we mean when we talk about fun at work, to examine what we're doing every day that is contributing to our happiness and our unhappiness at work, and to share ideas of what you could be doing with your team today, I rather want to use today as an opportunity to coach ourselves. Let's use today's fun at work day and your thoughts and feelings about it to learn the basic process of coaching yourself. Just a reminder that you'll find more about this process from the start of our podcast from episode 1.1, where I kicked off the six-step journey of defining, assessing, and visioning your version of happy and successful. Then, since episode 1.17, I've been focusing in on your negative emotions within this process of defining, assessing, and visioning, so that we can start off coaching together at the deepest level, bringing real transformation to your difficulties. Today, I'll keep this process simple so you can see what I'm doing, and I'll use an example from my own life. You can plug in your own thoughts, feelings, actions, and results as we go. So what we're going to do is to pull out each of the elements that make up your lived experience of today, fun at work day. The first element of your experience of fun at work day is to look at your thoughts. When you listen to all of this, when I'm talking, what is going on in your mind now? So many thoughts about fun, about work, about fun at work, all your opinions, your long-held beliefs, your thoughts, what your colleagues say, what you've learned from your friends, even what your dad said to you. Everywhere you hear various opinions that you have either adopted or rejected. Things like, work and fun are two words that don't go together. I never want to work in a corporate. It's just not fun. If it's not fun, then it's not worth doing. Employees are more productive if they're enjoying their work. Work is not supposed to be fun. That's why it's called work. (laughs) Work is a four-letter word. Work hard, play hard. Choose a job you love and you'll never have to work a day in your life. Have fun at work. Escape the office. And even the English proverb from 1659, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. (laughs) Like I said, so much noise out there about what we should or could be thinking about fun, life and fun at work. Now here are some of my thoughts for the example when I think of fun at work day today. From my employee engagement consulting perspective, I like these fun days less and less the longer I'm in the field. So initially, years ago, I was all up for dressing up like a clown, delivering cake and organizing games and quizzes. And as I've got older and wiser, (laughs) 
and work now at a strategic level, I look more at sustainable employee happiness and our roles in this as employees or managers and as individuals. And I have started to dislike so much of what is recommended as best practice in fun at work. My thoughts go towards it's fake, it's unsustainable, it doesn't change the underlying issues. Employees need to be able to access the feeling of fun on a daily basis for themselves. So they are just some of my own thoughts today. And you might feel similar to me or not, but you'll definitely have some thoughts about fun at work. This is the beginning of learning how to coach yourself, becoming aware of your beliefs and thoughts about the topic at hand, fun at work. So start with looking at all your thoughts about fun at work. You'll have done some of this just by listening to me now, but you could take this even further to look into your beliefs and thoughts in more detail. In episode 1.19, Coaching Your Unhappiness, I introduce you to the coaching tool of doing thought downloads. Why not listen back to this episode so you get the exact step-by-step process of how to download directly from your brain? all the stuff that's in your head right now and what you're thinking about today's coaching topic, fun at work today. Now, let's also do the same thing with your feelings about today's coaching topic, the second element that influences your experience of fun at work day. What are you feeling about today? What feelings do your thoughts create in you? So for me, my current thoughts create a feeling of unenthusiastic. You can use your thought download from the earlier exercise, have a look at all your thoughts and ask yourself what feelings do these thoughts create for you. Or you can use my coaching tools from an earlier podcast, episode 1.20, where I go into much more detail about three different ways to expand your emotional repertoire, your emotional range, in order to really know what you're feeling about our topic today. Thirdly, we can pull out your actions as the third element to explore. Ask yourself, what type of actions do these feelings motivate you to do? So if I'm thinking, fun at work is a pointless exercise, nothing ever changes around here, and this creates the feeling in me of unenthusiastic, what kind of actions do you imagine this feeling would inspire me to do? Probably some kind of inaction, actually. I might not join everyone for coffee and muffins, or I might not join in the laughter with the lunchtime comedian, Or I might duck out of the office early so I don't have to go for after-work drinks. I will come back to action shortly. For now, just think about what kind of action or inaction your thoughts and feelings are inspiring you to take. And now the big coaching question in all of this. Are these thoughts, feelings and actions getting you the results you want in your day today? Fun at work. Are your thoughts working for you, your feelings serving you, your actions contributing to your experience of fun at work? If not, then this is an ideal opportunity to coach yourself. So in our example, what is the result of the current thought-feeling-action pattern that I've described about myself? Well, on the face of it, (laughs) I'll not be having fun at work today at all. The longer-term impact of my inaction might also lead to further negative consequences. Perhaps I'm seen as boring by my colleagues or uninteresting, or perhaps I miss an opportunity to relax with the CEO and build our relationship. None of this leads to success at work, so I might want to rethink fun at work day. I might want to coach myself on this and how I show up. A simple way to coach yourself in the moment is to experiment with changing one element of your experience at a time to see what happens. So changing up a thought, a feeling or an action and see what happens for you. See what changes in your lived experience. Here I want to say something about the idea of experimenting in your own self-coaching. Buddha said, 
believe nothing until you have experienced it and found it to be true. Accept my words only after you have examined them for yourselves. Do not accept them simply because of the reverence you have for me. Buddha saw his teachings as a method to happiness and success that each person could experiment with for themselves, telling us to accept each aspect of the teachings only after we've tried it out for ourselves and found it to work. And when your experimentation confirms one step, then try another. And we're doing the same thing here with our self-coaching, experimenting with one thing at a time, a thought, feeling or an action to see what changes the experience for us, what works for us, and then moving on to the next thing. For example, you could change your thought about fun at work day. What thought would serve me better today than it's a waste of time? Alternatively, you could start with changing your feeling. How do you want to feel today? I'd rather feel enjoyment than unenthusiastic, wouldn't you? Or you could start with your action. And what actions could you take to embody a new thought or feeling to get the results you want from today? The experiment is a success when you see the result you want in your life. Happy and successful no matter what. Fun at work today, whatever that looks like for you. This is a very simple example of how to coach yourself in the moment. Definitely something you can try out today and let me know how it works for you. Now I want to introduce you to some new thinking that might take your experience to a completely different place. So some new thoughts that you can try on and see what experience with fun at work you might have from this place. Remembering always that your thoughts create your feelings and from your feelings comes your motivation to take action. This think, feel, act pattern lies behind everything in our lives, all the results we get. Trying on a new thought is a bit like trying on a shirt or a pair of shoes. Just try it out for the day, fun at work day, and see what it brings you. Experiment. This paradigm shifting work lies behind much of the coaching we do here at Happiness Matters, where a simple thought change could generate the feeling of fun for you and could completely change how today plays out for you. How about any of these new thoughts to try on? This is going to be fun. I am having fun. I can make anything fun. This is my life and I can make today miserable or I can make this fun. These are the two options I have today. I love this thought. I am fun. Imagine you believe this about yourself. How would you show up in your life every day? Or how about hard work is part of the fun? Hard work is fun. This is a really powerful one for me that I use every day. The journey to my goals, my happy and successful at work, is the fun part. Fun at work is always available to me. Or even asking yourself these very powerful questions throughout the day. Life as 50-50 is fun. If half of life is negative, how do I have fun with the sad part of life, the hard part, the discomfort, the fear, the anxiety? How is this fun? How can I make hard work fun? What if you said to yourself, you're not allowed to come to work unless it's fun. The minute you stop having fun, you have to stop doing it. And lastly, <laughs> to take your self-coaching to the next level, ask yourself any of the questions posed in earlier sessions. What happiness wisdom concepts from previous episodes might help you now? What about your emotional repertoire or lion-hearted courage or emotional intelligence? Or even what about the idea of evolving yourself today at Fun at Work Day? <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed today's episode on fun at work.
and using the day as an opportunity to examine your thoughts about work and how much fun, success or happiness these thoughts create for you. Using the day to explore the kind of positive feelings you want your thinking to create for you and using the day to practice the feelings that will generate the motivation to get the results you want in your life. Just some ideas on learning how to coach yourself. I won't leave you completely dry of activities to try for yourself and your team today. I've posted some books and articles in the show notes that will give you some ideas of things to do today, what the world of employee engagement calls fun-ativities. <laughs> But let me caution you right now. Using these activities to generate fun at work for yourself is the danger with coaching yourself at the level of action only. You never get the chance to experiment with your belief systems and thoughts about work, nor do you coach yourself using the power of your emotions. So these ideas might be useful in the short term, but they will not lead to transforming your happy and successful at work. That's truly the domain of working directly with your thoughts and feelings. Next week, we'll return to the work we've been doing recently, exploring your negative emotions at work, and we'll be looking at a key feature of our work together, the impact of menopause on you. Menopause at work. There really is no better time to do this work together. Just to remind you, or if you're new to me in the podcast, you'll find all the show notes, links I've mentioned here today, and all my free coaching tools on our website, happiness-matters.coach. And lastly, please share this podcast with your friends and family, anyone who might enjoy learning to coach themselves on a happiness journey with me. And guidelines on how to subscribe and to review this podcast are also on the website. Bye for now. I hope you'll have fun at work today, no matter what. Thanks for joining us on this Happiness Matters podcast. Do join us again here next week on Tuesday. You can subscribe to this series at Apple Podcasts on iTunes. Or you can sign up for it on our website, happinessmatters.coach. That's happiness-matters.coach. C-O-A-C-H. Also, you can join our conversation on Facebook by following us there. Our Facebook page is also happiness-matters.coach.